Hey Frugivore, welcome back. Today's video is a sad one because we have to discuss the death of this individual, Zana Dia, that's the name on her Instagram. Her handle is Raw Vegan Food Chef. Yes, she died in the last couple of weeks and she was raw, a raw foodist. Okay, and why I don't say raw vegan is because I'm not sure about her ethical stance on animals and we have to remind ourselves, remind, remind others that veganism is about animals. It's about animal welfare. It's not about food. It's not about pretty pictures of food or fruit or anything like that. So that's why it's best to say raw foodist because a lot of people, individuals do wrongly label themselves raw vegan and they don't, you know, talk about animals or even give animals a thought. So firstly, I just want to say, like, my heart goes out to the family. This is, this is obviously terrible. It's, it's really horrible to, you know, to imagine this individual is no longer with us. And after looking her, at her profile, I can see she had a positive focus, as in with fruit, and she was trying to be healthy, but she, she obviously had some issues. She had an eating disorder, and it seems quite clearly to be anorexia. And the way she died was in Thailand and from cholera-like um, infectious disease and the reality is in Thailand you do have a risk of getting one of these infectious diseases especially if your immune system is weakened and hers quite obviously was weakened and due to her eating disorder that is that is why and I wanted to clear this up you know I wanted to clear up the there's so much obviously you know, uh, media at the moment saying, oh, it's veganism, veganism killed her. Look, it's a dangerous diet. And it's like, no, she was starving herself. She was under eating to the point of starvation, unfortunately. And maybe the under eating didn't ultimately kill her. We don't really know what ultimately killed her because she went to the hospital. We don't know what they gave her there. We don't know a lot about the situation. Okay, so hold up for a second here. I actually found this article uh, from the Daily Mail where it shows these images of her which are just frightening and it says there were periods where Mrs. Uh, Ms. Sam Sanova would practice dry fasting where she would refuse to eat or drink anything for days so here we go the dry fasting we've seen this before with my friend Robert Lockhart who also died if you want to destroy your liver and kidneys dry fast honestly dry fast especially when you're in a compromised state and this is what she did, and this is probably what she had done time and time again, which damages your organs of elimination and filtration, your, your kidneys and your liver. So this makes a lot more sense now. I've seen this article because I didn't know she was dry fasting, but heck, it's, it's one of the most dangerous things you can do. So please, please do not do it. It's very clear to see from the pictures that she was really under eating, and, and that's not doing a raw food lifestyle correctly. Does that make, the fact that she died, does that mean that raw veganism, raw food, uh, veganism, those lifestyles are dangerous and deficient and of course not. You can die, you can die on any diet if you under eat, right? If you starve yourself, then you will die. There, there is hundreds of individuals dying from anorexia every year. And may I remind those who think, oh, you know, it's just all about veganism. How about, what about all the individuals who died in Thailand this year from heart disease, the, the tourists from heart disease? Yes, <laughs> tourists are dying from heart disease from their saturated animal fat diets. And other tourists are also dying from infectious diseases. Why are there no articles about them? You know, why is this, why is this being sensationalized? Because it's veganism and everyone likes to shit on veganism, don't they? Like many, many uneducated, like simple minded people. Some of the comments are just like, oh, they're so sad. Like we can have a quick look at even just this one, um, raw food, vegan chef. She, you know, just her enjoying some durian. Mrs. Miss Fit, Fit Vegan left a, a great post there, but this individual girl, girls, stop being vegan. I had to help so many ex-vegan women with severe nutrient deficiencies. That's just a lie. That's just rubbish. You will have nutrient deficiencies if you under eat full stop on any diet. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. She was starving herself. She, she got weakened. She probably got an electrolyte imbalance and um, ended up just, unfortunately, being weakened and ended up having this infectious disease issue. Um, 
you know, so let's have a deeper dive here. Lunchtime, we'll have a look at a few of her videos. Okay, so what I eat for my lunch as a, a mono fruitarian. And I don't recommend a fruitarian lifestyle. And it's not because I think it's going to kill you <laughs> or anything like that. It's just because I think fruit is the best food on the planet. Absolutely. But I also believe you should include some leaves and some nuts and seeds and maybe some sea vegetables, maybe. Okay. So that's the reason that I recommend, you know, the frugivore lifestyle, the frugivore diet, which I promote or raw to for over a fruitarian lifestyle, but I'm not saying it's going to kill you. That's ridiculous. So she's just having a whole honey melon and look, see the way she's enjoying like every single bite, like it, like it's almost like ecstasy. I've been in this lifestyle. I mean, I've been in this movement for a very long time, fruit based for 17 years. I had the most popular raw vegan website on the planet at one stage, 30 bananas a day, which I created. I have a lot of experience with individuals with eating disorders and her behavior is definitely eating disorder behavior. Does it mean you can't enjoy the fruit you're eating? No, that doesn't mean that. But this sort of behavior where just every bite is like, oh gosh, you're savoring every single bite. You, you just, if you eat like that, you will not eat enough. You will just not eat enough. On this lifestyle, you need to eat volume because it's high in water, it's high in fiber. You need to eat a large volume or you're going to fail to thrive. You will wither away because you won't eat enough. Does that mean it's a lifestyle? No, it just means you didn't eat enough, okay? And yes, you can develop deficiencies. You can develop a weakened immune system. Is it the lifestyle? Is it veganism's fault? No, quit it, ridiculous. So this is all, this is all she had for lunch. Carrot juice and that melon. This is just a couple hundred calories, a couple hundred calories. Let's go to another one. I did leave a comment there, this is quite a while ago, um, five days ago, but I said it is pure starvation because at first I thought this was her only meal for the whole entire day because she said, I like a simple mono meal. Mono meal's great. No salt, less fat, and no oil, and no dehydrated food. That's great. Just simple mono meal, that's all. This has been my level after 10 years of being of raw vegan. And this is obviously, this is not a great meal okay to have like that much fat uh and just tomatoes and then an avocado kefir like she needs more glucose she honestly has she had a glucose deficiency it's very very obvious and okay here's an example of a mono fruit uh mono strawberry breakfast which okay that's great but getting enough strawberries is super difficult you can see how how skinny she is here her shoulder width she's very very depleted and dehydrated dehydrated for sure so this this is only a couple of hundred calories so you saw she's having the strawberries a couple of hundred calories and she was having the carrot juice and um the other one it, it's adding up to under under 1000 calories for the whole day and what i think has happened here is that she's a raw food chef okay and that's another sign like no offense to raw food chefs out there, but it is quite common that the eating disorders go along like anorexia with people who are really obsessed with making beautiful like little dishes and this, all this fancy raw food. A lot of the time they have eating issues and they pay way too much attention to making these, you know, super like amazing gourmet dishes. That's just something I've noticed over the years. And what I feel has happened with her is that she's made a lot of these dishes because she's this raw food chef. And she probably binged out, probably binged out on it because she wasn't eating enough. And then she went on, she fasts or juice feasts, you know, she juice feasts and fasts. And then she will uh, lose a lot of weight as well and become very susceptible to picking up infectious diseases. And yeah, see her face looks fuller here, but that doesn't mean her body is, you know, because she could have just eaten, you know, binged out on the gourmet, got a saltier face. Because if we have a look down, her body is or has always been very lean, um, but I would say dehydrated. Because, hang on, let me have a look here. Um, I would say dehydrated. Where, where did I see this? Yeah. So I don't drink water for the past um, six, the last six years. So this is in 2022. Maybe she does have a little bit more weight on her. She does look a little bit more filled out. So this. That's not so bad, but I don't drink water for the last six years. That's a bad sign. Okay. That is a very bad sign. It's easy to get dehydrated and I'm all about coconut water. I think it's amazing, but don't, don't just 
try and have this purity focus where I cannot drink water. But you've got to be careful in Thailand, don't get me wrong. But you also have to stay hydrated or you will leave yourself open for, uh, yeah, disease. That's for sure. So that was a, that was a problem, obviously. She, I think she's been fasting in between. It really, really feels like it. You know, I have a lot of experience of analyzing individuals like this, and I think she was fasting, and I, which is, a, you know, severe calorie restriction, and juice feasting, and also uh, dehydrated, severely dehydrated, and just not getting enough nutrition, right? Not getting enough. Watermelon, creamy smoothie. So she's, this is basically how much she would have for breakfast. And this is like a, just a couple hundred calories at the most. It's hardly anything. That's not enough. It's just not enough. Her body is very tiny, very tiny. There isn't a lot of density to it. Um, like here. There, there really isn't a lot of density to her body. Look, she's tiny. She's absolutely tiny. And you can see her arm here. Yeah, this is, this is not right. This is not health. She was, unfortunately, she probably went down the purity focus. Like I... I just can't drink water unless it's like from a coconut. I can't eat fruit unless it's organic or it's come from a certain area. I know individuals like this. I know this, this purity focus is really dangerous. It, it's rife throughout raw veganism and it's not because of the diet. It's because it attracts individuals with this focus already where they want to just be super pure. And I mean, in, in like your natural habitat and stuff, okay, like, it's, it's good to try and eat as healthy as you can, but we don't live in that environment and we have to make compromises sometimes, you know? So, yeah, just watermelon. Yeah, there's a lot of comments and a lot of people are just disgusting. I'm just disgusted because I think about her mother looking at them or something or a family or friends and I'm like, what, what is wrong with you? What, why, why, you know? And one individual even said, I hope Freely's next. And I'm just like... What has the world come to? Someone's wishing death upon me. It's it just really super dis disturbing. But yeah, so a lot of green juice focus. And she uses filters and stuff like that to make herself look, you know, more full than she is, I've noticed. But like she, she looks healthy here, right? Yeah. 10 years fully raw vegan. She, she healed herself of many ailments and diseases, healthier now than ever before. Um, yeah, so it, so sad. Really, really sad. And this is healthy. What she's promoting here is healthy, but you gotta eat enough. For instance, I had a 15 banana smoothie for breakfast. I'm not mucking around, okay? And is it because like, oh, if I don't get enough, like the raw vegan diet will kill me? No, it's just the fact that you just don't get enough nutrition. It's that simple. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of rubbish going around as you've probably noticed, that's why I'm addressing this. It has nothing to do with veganism. It has nothing to do with raw veganism. It has nothing to do with raw foodism. It has to do with the individual. The individual getting off track and not looking after themselves, not educating themselves thoroughly enough. You know, you, you need to like, I can tell that she's not that active either. She's into yoga. Okay, she's into yoga, which is fine. I'm not, you know, rubbishing yoga. But it generally happens like this. They under eat. They don't have the energy to do anything else other than yoga. And I find athleticism and being active as a really important like uh, benchmark kind of indicator of how I'm doing and how my health is. You know, if I can't go for a jog or run or something because I've got no energy, that, that's not good. That's not good and I've got to get on top of that. But when you just go out and you just do yoga, you don't have that indicator. You don't have that benchmark, right? So that's what I, I recommend you do. Do physical things like cardiovascular based exercise to keep yourself fit and healthy and like, and to, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. I was just having a look at the, yeah, she looks very, very slim here. And it's not slim from being athletic. It's slim from starving herself. Um, yeah, there's not a lot of density. Well, hang on. There's not a lot of density to her. She's very teeny weeny and very sad to see her depleting herself like this. And yeah, I mean, it's all right to be lean and everything, but this isn't really a lot of mass, muscle mass or anything. This is actually looks quite depleted to me. And she didn't, she didn't recognize it. She didn't see herself kind of withering away, it seems. Or maybe she liked it because anorexics, I have been anorexic myself, start to like that look. You know, start to like it's it's a mental disorder it is
Um, so, yeah, I'm not really sure what else I can say, but I'm so sad for her and it's just so sad to see her smiling and wanting to be her healthiest and being proud of herself and and eating a lot of fruit but not enough fruit and spreading like a positive message but ultimately not a positive message she didn't realize that she was she was suffering from an eating disorder and the eating disorder is not raw veganism it's not veganism it's not raw, fe- raw foodism it's anorexia okay so please share this around so people actually realize that this is nothing to do with the lifestyle and everything to do with the individual and that's coming from someone who has a lot of experience 17 years fruit-based myself been raw vegan many times went to thailand many times as a raw vegan i'm still alive i'm still thriving it's not the lifestyle it's the individual i mean a lot of things can make a difference to your health if you have medical intervention it can kill you or it can disable you cause a lot of problems uh that's something you have to keep in mind and let's let's not forget the fact that there's individuals dying who are eating meat and dairy every day and the cause of their cardiovascular disease their heart disease is the meat and dairy the tourists in thailand are dying where is where are the articles right where are the articles and dengue fever infectious diseases they're dying not just zana so she left this This is before she died. Life is meaningless, but worth living, provided you recognize it's meaningless. I think that's like uh, Buddhist, maybe philosophy. But yeah, she obviously, she looks really skinny there. Really skinny and depleted. And she was on, on the road to, yeah, on the road to a bad place, to being really ill. And you can see, I think even her hair is going gray and she's just, kind of rapidly aging. Um, yeah, okay. So, so. How's it going? Yeah, good. So my heart goes out to Zana and her family and I just hope this never happens again. Please, please eat enough. It's not okay to just live on prana or try to be a breatharian. You're going to get an electrolyte balance. You're going to get potentially a whole lot of other issues like Zana ended up suffering from. Please get help. Please get athletic so you can identify when you're suffering and stay safe. Eat up the fruit. The fruit is like, fruit is amazing. Don't restrict it. All right. Sending you all love and I will, I will make more videos very soon. I'm coming back and I'm going to be in the video a bit more. So wait for that and... Yeah, don't forget to go fruit yourself hard, please.